Drugs and Crime has collected information on about 225,000 victims of trafficking detected worldwide. Globally, countries are detecting and reporting more victims and are convicting more traffickers. This can be the result of increased capacity to identify victims and or an increased number of trafficked victims. Namibia will join the rest of the world in commemorating World Day Against Trafficking in Persons. The event that's scheduled for tomorrow, the 5th of August, will be held at Katima Mulilo at the Wenela border post in Zambezi region. The Ministry of Gender Equality, Poverty Eradication and Social Welfare Chief Public Relations Officer, Lucas Haufiku, joins me now on the line. Good evening and welcome to the show. Good evening. Thank you for having me. Now, Mr. Haufiku, what is what exactly is human trafficking in layman's term? Uh, basically, human, human trafficking or trafficking in persons is uh, when uh, in layman's terms, uh, when somebody is taken or held against their will. It can be a woman, a man, it can be a child, but basically where they are taken and forced into a situation or into a walk or taken from them. And obviously it's a violation of their of human rights, of their human rights, of their dignity. All right. Now, Mr. Afiku, according to statistics, who is mostly at risk of being trafficked? Mr. Haufiku? Sure. Uh, we are living in a developing world, so basically um, everybody is becoming at risk of being trafficked. Yes, ma'am. As you may continue, sir. Uh, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you perfectly. You okay. Uh, we are, I was saying we are living in a de de developing world. <laughs> yeah, living in a de developing world where everybody really is at risk of being trafficked. But uh, as is the case, it's mainly, you realize it's mainly women wom and children that are at risk. Different promises that have been made, leaving the country for what some may term or deem as green pastures. And children really just uh, as people that are innocently uh, groomed, uh, what you call groomed online, and they are, uh, they are they are, they are kind of uh, uh, trapped because it's a child. It doesn't know that they are being trapped and they are driven to this place where, where, where they just fall prey to, to being trafficked. Mm. Now, this year's theme focuses on the role of technology as a tool that can both enable and impede human trafficking. Kindly expand a bit on that. Yeah, great. As so I was talking earlier, I was talking about um, uh, about grooming. Grooming basically is when people are online, um, it's sitting on this end of, of, of a digital platform or a cell phone or a laptop. And, and as technology is advancing, it's really becoming easier for people to use all these electronic gadgets just to reach out to potential people. You can name it social media. And this person is pretending to be somebody else who's on the other side just to say, no, come over to our country or we'll do this or we are this organization. And, and basically, these electronic uh, platforms are used to, 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 for criminal activities and they are used for, for, by traffickers. It's actually expanding. It's making it easier to either hide their activities. Um, uh, they, they, this traffic, or oh, sorry, they... they, they Digital platform give traffickers a variety of tools for enlisting, abusing, and controlling victims. Uh, that may, as I said earlier, may include children. And they use, so they are also using this very same platform to plan activities uh, and, and, and even transport and communicate with each other or potential victims. And also amongst these these trafficking rings. So so um, it's it's a coordinated mechanism be, be, between all these people. So. Um, if, if, if K is not really taken, uh, it, it, that becomes the danger on the other end of, of, of the, all these uh, electronic means or digital platforms or technology. Uh, but obviously, it's also the same tool that, that uh, our, either our police forces or organizations are using to fight the same crimes by uh, raising awareness and, and for, for instance, for the day of, of World Trafficking, um, World Trafficking in Persons Day, 
where we say the use because the theme says use and abuse because it has its advantages but also its disadvantages like we are learning now that people have been trafficked on it but it's the same platform that we are using to disseminate and create awareness to potential would-be victims so people that could stand a chance of being trafficked all right thank you so much for joining us tonight mr haufiku thank you ma'am that was Mr. Lucas Halfiku joining us, the PRO from the Ministry of Agenda. That is, of course, equality, poverty eradication, and child welfare. Do not go anywhere. We'll be back shortly. This is your Global Roundup.